This is a video to show you how to convert the Feather Touch Micro Focuser over to support the ZWO Electronic Automatic Focuser. And you need a special bracket from ZWO that they are fabricating. And it's simply going to slide over the Feather Touch and it's going to attach to the EAF. So the first step is to take off the Feather Touch knobs. And they slide right off. Then you're going to have an exposed bearing. And you're also going to have a little brass fitting. The first step is to slide the focus over. And the reason I'm doing it this way is there's not a cutout for the uh, set screws. So I'm just going to space them a little bit just for the size of a business card so you can slide in through just because I don't like metal on metal contact. And also I want to make sure the set screws are tapping into the flat part of the feather touch. And you can always adjust it as you go. So the flexible coupler is secured to the EAF and to the feather touch focuser. So now I'm going to rotate it slightly just to get the screws lined up. And then I'm going to hand tighten the screws just to start. I'm going to use my little Allen wrench to adjust them. And you can still rotate the EAF around while you're doing this because this uh, screw up top isn't holding the EAF in place yet. So you can still spin it to however, whatever position you'd like the EAF to be in. So now that that's in place, now I can tighten this screw to hold the EAF to the feather touch. And you can also position the EAF in the orientation that you wish it to be in. There you go. So now it's nice and tight and it's parallel. It's not uneven. And it's all set. So one recommendation I would have on the EAF is just to have when you're before you put it on, turn the knob just so the focus is all the way uh, all the way at zero so it's easier to adjust the focus. And you can see there's um, two different brackets right now. The bracket that I just put on doesn't have a cutout, but there's also a bracket that has a cutout, so it's easier to access the set screws uh, through the space here. So this is how I did this, and it works, and it's solid.